Hi my friends, it's Bella and welcome to another Thought for Sunday. So I'm carrying on with my, my thoughts from Sermon on the Mount um, and this is the, the third one I've had. I wanted to share, you know, three or four with you. Um, and if you saw the title or the, the thumbnail, you see it's about money. I'll put the scripture above again where you, you know, where you can reference it. Um, so, what do we think of money? Where, where is money in our life? Jesus said in, in on the Sermon on the Mount, where you, your treasure is, that's where your heart is, where you store up your treasure. That's where your heart is. He is referring to money, but I don't believe in any way he's saying you shouldn't have money, yeah? If you work for money, if you get it honestly, if you distribute it in the right way, if you're not greedy and you've earned it and you can afford those luxury things, that's fine. That, there's nothing wrong with that. That's perfectly okay. But where do you put that, the word in, in the scripture says treasure, is that your treasure? Is that what you see as your treasure? I think, and this is just a personal opinion, I think a lot of the times now in the age we live in, I think money has become a god and I think people worship money now i don't have a lot and i'd like a bit more <laughs> and i you know i'd like to do some some more things that, but i'm quite happy i'm quite content but yeah, it'd be nice i'd be lying if i said you know i think that'd be nice but it's not the be all and end all if you have it as your treasure at what cost because people will lose anything. Sell things, their soul, their friends, their family. Money becomes what they worship. And the desire to have more and more and more of it is what is first and foremost in their minds and more importantly in their hearts. Yeah, it has become like that. And I think it it probably always has been. Otherwise, you see, how many 2,000 years ago when Jesus spoke of it, um, it was there then. And, you know, it, it still is. It still is. So if you was to ask, and I'm not talking about people, but if you had positions in that house, imagine, you know, you had to save things in your house. Apart from your family and your pets, <laughs> my little Tess is definitely a treasure. What do you think are your treasures? What do you hold nearest to your heart? Is it your bank balance? Is it how much you've, you've got? Is it amount, how much you've accumulated? Is that what makes you smile? If you're sad, if you're lonely, if you're having a down day, which we all have, does logging into online banking and seeing your balance make you feel any happier? Does it give you any more contentment? Does it give you peace of mind? It can give you peace of mind to in, in a, a certain... Sorry, I'm knocking the camera. It can give you peace of mind in a certain sense. Of course, security is very important that we can pull insurances and, and things to, you know, we need in our life, of course. Of course, money is important for that. But what we're looking at is treasure. What is our treasure? Now, I'm going to share something with you. <laughs> and this is... To everybody else, I'm sure this is a silly little thing. So this is a little bag. Yeah? Just a little bag. And in here, I've got three things. This is the dummy 
from my eldest grandson, who is now 12 years old. That's his dummy. This is a sock from my second grandson, my second eldest grandchild. That's his sock. He's now seven, so that's his baby sock. And this is a little glove, a little mitten. This is my youngest grandchild, my granddaughter, my only granddaughter. That's a little knitting she had on when her mum brought her out of hospital when she was born. So those little things, those three things, to me, I treasure. I treasure them. And I always make sure they're in a safe place. I always make sure I know where they are. And I keep them in this little bag to keep them clean. Now, valued money-wise, they're not worth anything, are they? They're not worth anything. But they are, they are so important to me. They are part of my treasure. They really are part of my treasure. It's what's important. And if I'm sad or I'm unhappy or, you know, I look towards comfort of something material. This always, always does comfort me because all the memories that this involves and all the love that this involves is my treasure. That's where my treasure is. And however much money I had, and like I said, I wish I had a little bit more. I mean, I'd be fibbing if I said different. It wouldn't be able to give me the pleasure that these little things in my hand here give me. I mean, yes, it is lovely things we can do. There's lovely things that we can do. Um, we can go on holidays and we can buy things and, you know, have lovely things in our home. Um, lots of things like that. And, yeah, I'd like, you know what I am for makeup, guys. I mean, an hour in Sephora with lots of money. I do. <laughs> but I don't treasure it. And I wouldn't put it before any person, any living creature, even my dog. I would not put something of material value before people. And I wish that, I'm not saying I'm a good, I say this every week in these videos, I know I do. I'm not a goody-goody, I'm not a goody-goody in any sense of the word, but I wish I could teach more people that are striving, and I see people striving all the time, and we all know that people, don't we, every, every one of us, you might be one yourself, I don't know, but I wish I could tell people that However much you have, however much you own, don't let it be your treasure. Let it be your security. Yes, let it be security because we all would like a nest egg for security. We all would like a little bit of money for, behind us, as they say, for a rainy day. Certainly. But that's security. I'm talking about treasure. And I think the danger is when we stop looking at money as security and we start looking at it as treasure. Um, that's, that's just my thought. That's just my idea. And I think that the words in the Sermon on the Mount that, that you know, where you store up your treasures, that's where your heart is. And I, I really believe that. I really believe that to be true. And it, it, as I said, it's not that I live a perfect life and I'm holier than that because I'm not. I am not. I do things wrong all the time. I mess up all the time, as I'm always telling you. Um, but it's just, I've just got that thing. And it, I've never had it even from a young girl. Even as a young girl, it was never 
it was all about the people to me, always about the people. And I've gone through different stages of my life and I've gone through having hardly anything to having, you know, plenty of um, spare money, um, funny money, silly money as we call it, um, to not having hardly any. So my life has taken up and downs as far as that goes, but my my thoughts have never ever chasing the pound, chasing the buck, that, that and and putting the side and sacrificing things that matter because of the love of money. I've never done that. I've never done that. And I just think it brings so much unhappiness. Because honestly, you can't buy happiness. You can't buy contentment. You can buy things, but you really can't buy treasures. You really can't. I don't think so anyway. Please share your thoughts with me. What do you think about that? Do you agree with what I'm saying? Um, do you have any special things that mean a lot to you? They're my little treasures. Everybody says, me, oh, goodness, <laughs> Becca says to me, Mummy, you still holding on? Oh, I'd never let them go. <laughs> um, they, they just bring me comfort and they've got lots of memories behind them and they're, they, they're a big part of my treasure. So if you've got anything you'd like to share it with me, I'd, I'd love that as well. If you've got any stories, um, please share those with me. Um, if you feel comfortable, of course, if you feel comfortable. Um, we've got, I'm going to do one more on Sermon on the Mount. I hope you have enjoyed this little series, guys, and know that it's not in any way a Bible study because I'm not knowledgeable enough about the Bible. I know that, you know, I love parts of it. Well, I love the Bible and I love reading about the things and I love reading the meaning of things, but I don't, I'm not at all over what you'd call over religious I guess and as far as living my life exactly as the bible says no I probably don't you know I don't I don't do a lot of communal worship and my rule my rule has always been and I believe I've said this to you before whatever I was doing at any given time of the day Jesus walked into the room, would I be ashamed? Would I be ashamed of what I was doing? Would I be embarrassed at what I was doing? Or saying? Or feeling? And if I was, then I shouldn't be doing it anyway. So, I hope you enjoyed it, guys. I'll see you again in my next video. You take care of yourselves and thank you so much for being here with me. Thank you so, so much. Bye. Thank you.